Hi, and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to learn how to use a calculator. Now, when they ask you a question, there will be two types that they can ask you. One is where you are given an angle, and the other one is where you are asked to calculate the angle. When you are given the angle, example, if I say sin 30 degrees, all you have to do is press the ratio, the angle, and equal to sign. So you'd press sin 30 equals to, which will equal to a half. Now some of the brackets, when you were pressing it in, it will say sin, open brackets, 30, and then it doesn't automatically close the bracket. So sometimes you have to press close bracket and then equal to. Now the way that I gave you where it's a ratio, angle, and equal to sign would work for the basic sin, cos, and ten. But what happens when we are given cosec, sec, or cot? So if you are given cot 30, you know from your previous knowledge that cot is the reciprocal of ten. It's basically, it is ten turned upside down. Now what we do is, we know because it's the reciprocal, we know that cosec is going to equal to 1 over sin. Sec is going to equal to 1 over cos. And cot is going to equal to 1 over tan. So what we do is, we're going to say that cot is equal to 1 over tan 30 degrees. And that is how you would press it in your calculator. So you must remember that a reciprocal or the opposite of a sin cos or tan, when we're pressing it in the calculator, we will press 1 over tan 30. So first, you're going to change it to sin cos or tan. And then number two, you're going to use your calculator. Right, when you're using your calculator, you're going to use the ABC button or a button that looks like this. And then you're going to press the one on top. At the bottom, you're going to press 10 and 30. And then you're going to press equal to and it should give you the answer. Now, you must remember that your calculator has a tendency of putting brackets in. So when you are pressing your calculator, when you press in to your calculator, the button that looks like this, and then you press the 1 and you press over 10, when you're going to press the 30, it automatically puts the open brackets. So you must put the close brackets. If you don't put the close brackets, your calculator tends to say error. And when it's saying error and you go back with the replay button, you will see that it will flick and it tells you that in that line is where the error is. So you close the brackets and then you press your equal to to get your answer. So <clears throat> when you are given the standard ratios that are on your calculator, sin, cos, or 10, it's simply ratio, angle, and equal to. But when you are given sec, cosec, or cot, then you have to change your sin cos a 10. Then only can you use your calculator. So you're going to end up with 1 over a ratio, your angle, and then equal to. So remember that this is when we are given the cosec, sec, or cot. Right. It is important to remember these values. Some people might use the calculator differently where they'll tell you press the reciprocal. So in other words, you press 10 of 30 and then you press the button x to the power minus 1, which means it swaps it. 10, 30, and 
and you'd still get the same answer. Now with the newer calculators, this tends to work, but with the older calculators, the problem comes in what is that you have to press shift and then x to the power minus one. So when I'm teaching it, I try to show you that when you have an angle, the norm is to not press shift. But when you have, um, when you have to calculate an angle, then the norm is to press shift. Thank you for watching.